it only matters how we make our film, not what we make it about, right? It's the how we make it and how we treat other people. And I remember sort of in this moment, this sort of terrible like competition and people were sort of, I wanna be in that spot. And we were like, wait, we got here first. And, and then I was like, you know, I, I don't want to, in the process of some, making something, behave in ways that are indecent to me. I don't want to suddenly be like, I got here first, get out of my way. Like, I don't want to be that person and I don't have to be that person. Uh, and so, so I feel like over the years, I sort of learned like, it's the process. It's just all about the process. And because of the great unpredictability of the world and the unpredictability of yourself, you can only rely on process. And if you treat each moment of process as a way of, just trying to like understand more, enjoy more, question more, then I'm telling you, like it just gives back to you in the most beautiful of ways. So let me tell you a little bit about the process of making um, Dick Johnson instead. So, you know, camera person freed me. Uh, like camera person truly liberated me as a maker of things because I, I made that film out of need. I sort of, it was, we, it, it felt small. We made it with a tiny handful of people. Um, I, I, I got really into the process with everybody. And then when we were almost finished with the film, we showed a rough cut of it to some people who I really trust and admire. People like Laura Poitras, people like the late incredible editor, Jonathan Oppenheim, Jocelyn Barnes, one of the most wonderful producers in the documentary world. And we had a couple of scenes in the movie that we weren't sure about leaving in or taking out. And we showed it to them. And I really, I can't even tell you how much I value these people's opinions. And none of them liked it. And I just remember just being devastated because I was sort of like, I can't do anything more to this movie. Like I've done all I can. This is all I have. And what didn't occur to us, which is kind of hilarious, was that, you know, the editor, Nels, and I had, we wanted to do the screening because we had doubts about whether a couple of scenes should stay in the movie or not. And certainly their feedback said to us, like, oh, those scenes need to go. That's confirmation those scenes should go. But it was so close to the end that we took those scenes out and we still imagined that they would hate the movie. And I sort of had to face this like moment of the soul where I was like, you know what, the people I respect most are gonna hate this movie that I've made. But I know in my heart, I've done everything I can to make it the movie I wanted it to be. And we're at the deadline and here we go. So we went into this moment at, at Sundance, um, sort of convinced that no one was gonna get the movie, that most people were not gonna like the movie. And I felt really sad about that. <laughs> um, but I just felt, I felt conviction. I felt like I've done everything that I can possibly do with this film. Um, and then to my great shock and delight, people were into camera person. <laughs> like, and I was just like, what's happening? And I marveled at every moment along the way of the film going out into the world because people just there was all this space in the movie for people to have their own experiences and to and to share them back with me and I realized like oh this process I can share with people this process um, that I went through and that's interesting to them and the film matters to them and it was just so it was so fun 